To the story I mentioned off the top, the widow of a retired Dallas firefighter tonight blames COVID-19 and a cruise line for her husband's death. CBS 11's J.D. Miles spoke to her about a lawsuit she has now filed. At the time these photos were taken, Susan Doherty had no idea how little time she had left with her husband of 40 years. He was a great papa and a fierce protector of his family. Michael Doherty and his wife were celebrating their 40th anniversary on the Princess Cruise Line's Grand Princess in February, unaware that passengers on the same ship before them tested positive for COVID-19. And we heard it on the news when we were in our room about the passenger from our previous cruise dying. When they were notified four days into the journey, the 68-year-old retired Dallas firefighter started to get sick. We were in this room just by ourselves, like on the island, with no one helping. Doherty's account of trying to get the ship's medical personnel to help is heartbreaking. She said, if he doesn't have a heart attack, I just have to take a report. The next morning, he could not get out of bed. He couldn't walk. He was not answering me when I talked to him. For three days, Doherty's husband was confined to his room at a dock in San Francisco until finally he was taken to a hospital on shore. The CDC people asked me what took me so long to get him off the ship because of the condition he was in that was so bad. And I was crying over in the corner of the tent saying I've been trying for two days to get him off the ship. I couldn't get him off. Michael Doherty died days later while his family listened on their phones. And that's how we were when he passed. The doctor called and said, I'll stay on here and count his heart down with you. What was that like? It was terrible. It took 35 minutes from the time she called. The widow has filed a lawsuit against the cruise line for not notifying passengers about their exposure to the virus. She says it caused a man who spent his entire life helping others to wait in vain when he needed it. Hard not to be with a person that you love when they need you. J.D. Miles, CBS 11 News.